Alright people, welcome back to some more card reviews. So today we are looking at a card that just seems so terribly bad that I, I seriously cannot figure out what you're ever supposed to use this card for. So I'm going to need your guys' help definitely. Today we are looking at Graceful Tears. And it actually uh, came out and I believe Shining Victory. It, 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 uh, yeah, it's a new card. And when I read this effect, you're going to be like, that seems like one of them crappy old cards. So, uh, Graceful Tears. Simple, normal trap card that reads. Add one card from your hand to your opponent's hand, then gain 2,000 life points. That's it. And, it, like I said, it just seems like one of those old cards, like, back in, like, you know, like, 1997, when they first started off Yu-Gi-Oh! Where it's just like, yeah, this card is kind of crap, and it has no use. So, let me get this straight, let me get this straight, and I don't want to hear it. As you guys know, I'm a full-on proponent of life points don't mean shit. You know, oh, you gain 2,000 life points, and if you don't have the resources to play it out, then your life points are going to be dropping to zero fast. So, life points don't mean shit. Whether it means paying them or gaining them doesn't mean shit as long as you got resources, all right? Are you playing that Solemn Warning? Hell yeah. There goes 2,000. Are you playing that Solemn Strike? Hell yeah. That's 1,500. Are you playing them upstarts? Give your opponent 1,000? Sure. I get to go ahead and draw an, an, a card. I can see the next card. So... Light points? Nah, nah, nah. Light points don't really mean much. They don't. What matters in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is resources, you know? It doesn't matter if you have one life point and your opponent has 10,000 life points. As long as you have more resources than your opponent by an extravagant amount, you can easily turn that duel around. And this card kind of goes against that whole idea. So, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I'm going to play this. Then I'm going to take a card from my hand, so out of my resources, and give it to my opponent to gain a thousand life points? Like, what is that? What, what is that? What is that? I don't, I don't, you know? No. All right, so you play this, you lose a card in your hand. So you're going neg two, and then depending on what your opponent gives, even if you give them the crap card, and they give, you give them a card that they can never use, they go plus. So, essentially, the whole exchange and the resources between you and your opponent is neg 3 off of this card. Yeah, yeah, what's the point of this? For 2,000 life points? No, thank you. No, thank you. No, 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 there's other cards. I would rather play freaking, freaking two Dion Kettos as, 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 as only a neg 2 for 2,000 life points. This is a neg 3, and it's a trap card, so it's much slower than that. Like... I don't understand why. I don't understand why. I, you know, you look at it on the wiki, you click that tips button, you're like, oh, you know, let's see if he didn't have any tips of it. Are there any tips? No. Literally, the only thing is that it could be searched by Cat of Omen. Okay, and what is that, like every trap card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh? So, yeah, that, 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 that's, not, that's not enough to uh, say, yeah, that's, that's definitely a tip for this card. There's nothing else on this wiki at this time, you know? I even... I even went to the next level. I even Google searched it. I was like, maybe maybe someone has some idea. Literally, the only thing that I can really get out of this is that you play this card. You give your opponent a card from your hand to their hand. You get into 2,000 life points. You go next three. Just so you can mind crush them. Because, of course, you already know what they have in their hand. You just add it to their hand. Just so you can mind crush them. So you're going to go neg 3 just so you can mind crush someone? Yeah, I would rather just go ahead and hold on to mind crush. In this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! How fast this game is, you're going to play something to search sooner or later. You know, you're going to play that Skull Corbat Joker and go ahead and search. You're going to go ahead and play that Pendulum Call. You're going to go ahead and play that Pendulum Wizard. So I'd rather just go ahead and hold on than, you know, deliberately setting up the mind crush by going neg 3 with this card. I just, I don't understand pulling this card at all. Uh, you know, this is even cards like, you know, even exchange, like, hey, you know, if, if I'm gonna give something in your hand, can I at least get a little bit of knowledge? You'll get no knowledge. No knowledge in your opponent's hand, you know, unless you combo it with Minecraft, because it's not like you get to, you know, look in your opponent's hand, your opponent's look at yours. It's just, here, have this card, here, have, have my resources, and you get, and I get to gain 2,000. Woo! You know, I went neg three, so hopefully I can hold on <laughs> with this, with that 2,000 life points I gained. And hopefully the monster I gave you wasn't too good, but I'm assuming that you're just going to try to give him the worst thing as possible. Like, I have no idea. So, I don't know why this card was made. Like I said, this is Shining Victory, people. This is, like, the set after uh, Breaker of Meta. So, it seems like you just break the meta, and then you make crappy cards like this. I don't know. So, tell me what you guys think about this card, and if you guys have any suggestions, any strategies besides Mind Crush, uh, in the comment section below with this card, then please tell me, because I'm just so lost. This card just doesn't seem like it's a card that's coming out in 2016. So, I hope you at least got a laugh out of this card. Yes, this is a real card. This isn't fake. This is a real card in Shining Victory. 
So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I will be back next week with some more card review. All right, people. Thanks for watching.